Is it go? Is it go? It is go. Good. Good. Now let's go wait for it to chill out. Let's -a go. So, in Zool's room, um, Marg demands that Zool kill him already. So he doesn't have to look at his uh, awful face for another second. And that uh, while uh, he's outraged at. Uh, Mark's impertinence, and how dare he speak to Zul? But Zul says, "Hold, well, that strong will is exactly what I need from him." And he says uh, he's going to execute him in a sense by erasing his memories and rebuilding him as a loyal soldier, and sending him to kill his own brother. And Mark is like, "No, don't!" But the process has already begun. Mars, Mars, and then that fucking drill noise. And his Mark, he wakes up on his uh, battleship. No memories of who he is or who the woman he's talking to is. She's a Rose. And uh, he asks why he can't remember anything. And he says that his memories have been erased. Um, so he can live for the future. And he's like, oh, it's not good enough to me. And uh, Rose says that they're on their way to Earth. Um, where Zexis are. And with them, his enemy Mars. And he's like, oh, alright, sounds good. Let's go get him. Drills do are pretty good at rewriting memories, right? I mean, you slap that shit in, I don't have a hard time remembering anything if someone put a drill in my head. And here's uh, Zexis away in Elgin Roddick, at the location he gave us. And apparently one of the shell corporations he um, moved through when he was as disguised as a boatman. You don't want to buy Conan Exiles, but it's got a dick size slider. Well, you make your dude. Give him a tiny dick or a big dick. And anything in between. Meanwhile, Lockon, Ayama, and uh, Roger sympathise with Crow's new multiplied massive debt. Uh, Crow uh, asks if Roger can uh, help him do any negotiating, and Roger says, "No, the deal's already done. The window for negotiation is closed." It's like, damn, if even a pro can't help me. Ariama says he should just not pay it. Fuck it, skip out. And he's like, "Nah, I can't give up the Braster, and not now that it's just got its upgrade." Power up! Um, and his principles uh, leave him a slave to money, so we just have to like, work it off. Uh, Sarah, uh, Runa, and uh, Soshi realize they were wrong when they thought Crow was a flake. And Crow's like, thanks, I guess. Not gonna turn him around on that wi woman thing. But uh, they. They're like, speaking of guys who are scared of women, we knew someone a bit like that back in our world, uh, in the Chimera group. Which is Lowen. So, uh, I guess, uh... Crow must have had a traumatic experience uh, with a girl. Michelle, on the other hand, uh, loves uh, the women of Zuth. Zuth, no honor. And, uh, Pierre and Kay love the Zexus girls too. G Kay even says that it's a nice thing about having been ripped from his own universe. Like the best thing about going from to a new universe, all these new women to smooch. And the uh, cafe says uh, something his dad used to say: even when you've hit rock bottom, you can only look up. And uh, that's a nice sentiment. Uh, just, he's like, do you have any sayings like that, Crow? Says one. He's like, even if you take one step forward and two steps back, you're still facing forward. And then Elgin arrives. And this is the first time uh, some people have seen him in person. Uh, Alto, Koji and Takaru were like, oh wow, we've heard a lot about his stubbornness and force of will, but Roderick just says, nope, I'm not this crazy super legendary dude, and that's why I have to depend on you. But no time to chat. He said, I have no time to chat, and neither does the world. Then he's not just talking about the Imperium, he's come uh, to ask us to defend the future of humanity, come what may. And... 
Thierry recognises uh, that phrase as one that Alia Schoenberg uh, used and worked for the same thing. Uh, he can't uh, offer us power and he can't offer Zuth a way home. But, and Roger's like, we will gladly help. Don't worry about it. While we're here, we've got nothing better to do. Um, Sumeragi can't uh, forget that Elgin kept some of the UN Joint Forces movements uh, from us. Like he didn't tell us that they are after us. But Shin's got a big concern. Someone wants our Zuth to help them in the fight for law and order. And then that was a real like big mistake. Shouldn't have done that. And Kira and Athrun and Camille are, like, are willing to trust Elgin Roddick for now. And then, what is it, Apollo? What's up? He can smell something fishy, and his nose is really wrong. Uh, he doesn't think that Elgin's lying? Um, and certainly not like uh, the Adel did. But he can't put a finger on what he thinks is wrong. And Jiren just says, ah, it don't matter, don't worry about it. And Apollo's like, yeah, you're right. And that's the end of that. But Elgin uh, thanks Zeus and promises to let him know if he learns anything uh, important. And Cape wonders if Banjo's out there. And Kira wonders about Lacus, and Laura wonders about Diana. And then Otsuka dials in on the phone, and uh, he's looking for Takaru. And uh, he needs Takaru to stay calm and listen. Which is, uh, like Kathy says, it's always a good time when someone says, I need you to sit down and just stay calm. But uh, the Gishin have kidnapped his mother. But <laughs> Nani. And uh, they demanded he go out to the Izu Peninsula. Alone, unarmed, and he did it. And uh, Rose and her armor, uh, uh, armor, army of psychic dudes, um, get the ambush on him. And she says she'll have his head, but first she wants to let him struggle and uh, to have him suffer for his treachery against uh, the Emperor Zul. Takaru, uh, Defends himself with a blast, but now he's all worn out, and the other espers continue to advance. Just then, explosions. But the Gishin radar show no mecha nearby. But this is chapter 31: the Battle of Mars and Marg. What was that? Where are they shooting from? There aren't any blips on the radar. Here's Yasu. <laughs> you don't need a robot to throw a bomb. Yasu from the Koragani bathhouse. Long time no see, kiddo. Code just us to give you a hand. And he says, you dare to fight? Mission psychics without a weapon? And then cross, hell yeah. He's too strong. Sensei, slice him the ribbons. I wouldn't want to be on the business ends of the mas of Sensei's chopper. What's the matter with you? Shoot him with your psychic waves and shock blasts. Who do you think you're dealing with? Hey, hey, we could see you right through your little tricks. Avalanche rolls down Mount Daisetsu. Daisetsu and Oroshi. Eyes, ears, nose. Whoa. They're fighting psychics hand to hand. I think Dakaru is more surprised, like, Koji just saw a man cut off, like, scratch out another dude's eyes and then cut off his ears and nose with his fingers, but, you know. And here's, uh, Okiku. Stop staring and lend a hand, boy! Just an old lady! Baba! Just an old lady! My goodness, you're making a mess! Hop! Ugh, all tied up in these strings! Ho ho ho! These are super alloy Z wires! The harder the str you struggle, the harder they squeeze! <laughs> Get back! As long as they've engaged you, you won't be able to maintain concentration! Nice try! Here's Django. Got nowhere to run. Nice, Django. Give him the customer's treatment. Piece of cake! Zex's, sni Zex's sniper team uh, putting on a good shooting show. I don't think they're enjoying it, though. Oh well. They earned it, taking his mother hostage. Ugh, keep fighting, we have them outnumbered. Are you certain? Trying to sacrifice soldiers now? Won't show any mercy. How are they so strong? 
Should have done your homework, because Zexis also works as Takaru's bodyguard. Pretty good, Crow. What is that? Aikido? She's steamer. Just picked it up a while ago. And then lock on. <laughs> Crow's really seen some rough times. You really thought you could stomp us just because we didn't have our robots? Scatter! Bring the carrier! He shot it down with the pistol! It's a good gun. It's a Bauhauser M571 armor piece in Magnum. Armor Magnum. These humans! Zexus is a threat! Took you long enough, huh? We can fight with or without our mechs. Enough! So fucking good. And here's uh, Takaru's mother. And uh, we've got all the psychics cornered, so Takaru's gonna go get his mum. But Marg's in the way. And he's like, I will fight you. He's like, Marg, what? He's like, Marg, wait, Marg, is this your brother? He's like, Marg, why are you doing this? He's like, brother? Ha 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 ha! I've never had a brother! Marg! And then. Wraps him up in brain power, and Takaru doesn't have the psychic power to fight back. Uh, Rose warns uh, Marg that these humans are much more dangerous than they look, and Marg makes the call to uh, retreat his foot soldiers and send in the robots. Send in the Mecha. And uh, he's gonna take Shizuka with him. Shizuko with him. Ooh, mother! Marg! And here's Subasa. Enough simpering out of you. Landlady! Takaru's! You got time to blubber? You got time to do whatever you can. If you want to save her, don't you? Whatever I can. Then comes out with notes. So Takaru's gonna do what he can. A Gaia. Six Robo com six God combination. Wing. Oxygen. A God Mars. Rose thought he was drained. Mark is like. Uh, his desire to save his mother and just let him dig deeper. How touching. Crush the fool, courage and all. And Takaru like, Marg, fuck you. Let's go, God Mars. I'm pretty sure he's gonna one shot all these planes because they're all trash. Yeah, that's one. Mars, it's a miracle you have survived this long. Why do you worship Zul so hard? Impossible! The really big robot fucking punched me! Kiriko's always had the armor magnum, but he doesn't like use it in any of his attacks. Why'd you go for the ears and nose once you've taken out the eyes? Because Hayato is a fucking sadist. <laughs> he's just only like <laughs> Hayato, he's not a good dude, it turns out. A <laughs> getter boy, a bad dude. Who would have thought? Oh. But that's a callback to like his opening scene in um, the Get A Robo manga, like his debut. His like he shows up. He's a school student who has taken over the school, and someone tries to like get him out of the school, and he just does that and just fucking murders, like completely wrecks him, fucks him up. And then he sees a dinosaur, and he gets all spooked. But he does that exact... Uh, eyes... Ears... Nose... Ears... What it is... It's eyes, nose, ears, right? Or nose last. But... Maker Beasts! Uh, Baron Asher has bought the Ghostfire V9 to help uh, Marg. Dr. Hell has uh, ordered him, but... 
Ashu Ashura wants to weaken Takaru and then force the bomb to explode in space. Because, you know, Dr. Hell can't take over the Earth if it's fucking blown up. But we've shown up with our robots because we do need robots to fight robots because we're not like Master Asia or anything. Let's bring on the scope gun then. Two guns, I guess. Yeah, there we go. A success. Hell yeah, dude! We're gonna cover you so you can save your brother. Well, save your mother and get to your brother. Unfortunately, though, they're just hanging his mother from the bridge. Just like she's just tied to the outside. Um, Rose demands Takru surrender if he wants his mother to live. And uh Michelle walk on too far, sniper team can't free her, so what are we gonna do? K another robot Baldius Hyperspace Warp What the And just teleports up, grabs the lady, saves her. And Rose is like, fire on the robot! When? Another one shows up. God shield! What? It's the God Mars, baby! He's got the God shield! You can't fucking do shit to that dude. It's God Sigma, I mean, not God Mars. He's fucking invincible. So, uh. Voldeos and God Sigma are here. If I. Takaru's mother to safety, and now she's going to be looked after by the Kuragani Five, and now they're in formation. And Zuth's like, hell yeah, it's these nerds, they're back! And everyone wants to make Marg pay for being a huge shithead, and now that we don't have to worry about his mother getting murdered, time to fight. <laughs> More super robots! And Zero tells Takaru that it's up to him to decide what to do about Marg, and we'll uh, have him covered. However he chooses to do. <laughs> yep, that dude's ready to go. <laughs> yeah, no, he just goes she's back. I love that fucking dude. Well done. <laughs> And Bullia starts with hit and away. So we finally got a dude who knows how to fucking snipe in it. And his okay, his ace bonus is 40% chance of the subspace evasion thing. It's his uh, full upgrade. And what's the God Sigma upgrade? Uh, God Sigma is damage modified to 0.8 when blocking with a shield. And then what's the, the full upgrades? Let's find the full upgrades. God Sigma uh, gets S rank in all terrains, so that will actually be really good. And uh, Baldios oh, can enter subspace with no morale requirement instead of needing like 120, 130, 130. What weapon series for Kirikos Pistol? It's the Bauhaus. The Bauhaus Armor Magnum. I thought it was the Godfire, you the hell, weird shit statue, man. The SR point for this stage? Uh, defeat all enemies within five turns. Should be alright. 
Showdown, Mars und Mark. That dude getting punched. Nah, he's fucking dead. This dude. Give him the cannon. Didn't kill him with the cannon, good, but that means somebody can, like, double go next time. And the ghost fire. The ghost fire is awful as well, like, pure garbage. Mars out of fucking control right now. Godmar's music so good. I don't know if I'll be here Friday, but I hope to be here Saturday. But let's look at these idiots. So there's Bullios. It's really big. It's double large, so it gets big damage, and it's a sniper robot. With its finisher, the Thunder Flash, it doesn't have the Bulderoiser. And here's God Sigma, which has got the big move, it doesn't. And there's the Sigma Breastsaw, but I don't think it's got the, like, the big bullshit move yet. And, um, next game, the full upgrade bonus is the Sword Cut always activates, which is grossly strong. Been a while, Marin, but that doesn't mean you can slip up. I think that I think that warp speaks for me, so you better not hold me back. Ah, that's good to listen to. I don't think we'll have any problems. Yeah, I don't know where we are, but it doesn't matter if we're all together. Go, Bullios. Right, Oliver and I are back together, and our combined power is yours. Remember when these dudes were just huge racists to Marin and fucking hated him and wanted him to die and fuck off to space? Yeah, sword cut blocks melee and some projectiles. Not all of them, but some. Yeah, like if I'm doing anything, I'll be doing Blood Bowl, but after Blood Bowl, I might do anime, but. I might not. I hope to do stuff tomorrow. But I might be too tired after shopping. We'll have to, to wait and see. Wing, wing. And I don't think you need the blocking skill in the next game either to like to do shit. But even if you do, it's not a problem because uh, you get like eight skill slots or something in the next game. You can buy SP regen, but you're probably better off just not. If you've got, like, PP left over, instead of getting SP regen, you're probably better off just getting loads of SP ups. Because that gets you, like, what, like, 50? It's 50 or 45, like it depends on if it's 5 or 6 extra SP per rank. But I'm not sure. Yeah, it's flaming fucking Mohawk dipshit. It's, it's a flaming Mohawk that only moves when he moves though, like when he's standing still it's just frozen, so it's really weird. Please, Iron Ball. Iron Ball. Actually, I mean, he's good now. Ba ba da ba 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 
パーラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパラパこ
Chain Messenger's power. Fuck face. Power. His hair doesn't move until he, like, but only as he moves. I hate it. Now Mars is gonna punch every single one of these planes. Spigots now. Let's see how they do when Crow isn't like cheating and like, being at 200 willpower, which she normally cannot do. Like, only one dude in the game can do that. Spirit rain. Spirit rain. Spirit rain. You gotta remember there's still a whole other game to go for in terms of it getting an upgrade. Like it's so far it's just got a new attack which is some hula hoops coming from off stage. Right when we get back together with Zeus, we get thrown into a fight. This is uh, Kiriken. This is Julie. Well, we were a trap and it shows that it worked. And then Toshia. That's right, we fight evil on this or any earth. Julie, Kiriken, follow me. We give him a jolt of God Sigma's power. Just like Godmars, another combo maker. Uh, there's not that many expensive things to buy at the grocery store, so I have trouble. Mars Flash. Like this is like it's just got a new attack in terms of its upgrade. I don't think its stats change at all. I think it's just it gets the spigot attack. Flash that sucker. And then just punch that man. And nearly fucking get him too, holy shit.
This might have been hopeful. No, oh, fucking got him. These boys are very strong. Okay, yeah, no, that would be way too hopeful. Yeah, it's more like it. That fucker. Brat, this one. Connera, Connera. He's a mighty warrior. He didn't expect two children. Our <laughs> mecha beast is getting. How many mecha beast stuff they'll have? Fucking loads. Like ten million. He's probably got like thirty. I think you can probably get away with the double beam saber. I mean, it shows what I know. Who's a low level? Lauren? Akagi. Hot blooded hero of justice? Let's go! Bonk, bonk, bonk. Three punches straight to the fucking dick, and then he blew up. Three levels. Duh! Oh, he just switched. My ghost fight impossible. My ghost fight was defeated. Yeah, we'll keep beating anything you bring, but he's like, no. Let's go, Ghost Fire. We'll get you next time, Zexis. <laughs> the usual bullshit that they give. Yeah, after this, I'm gonna be uh, Dunzo. I'll just have to upgrade God Sigma and the Baldy Boys. We'll be good and done. Me, 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 me
yeah, and I'll highlight them and get them ready to be uploaded. Look at this fucker. 14 range punch. Uh, Trinity C command is Trinity charge. Uh, God Sigma can completely refill its energy once per stage. Where the gimmick is it? It's full of Trinity energy, which is amazing, and is what evil Dr. Wily was into in Z1. Evil Dr. Wily, regular Dr. Wily was evil. I mean, young Dr. Wily with his brown hair. Dr. Kazuma. He's used Trinity C. Trinity Charge, completely fill up all your juice. S for level 5, like being a fucking new type or something. Prepare yourself, Mars. I will execute you on the orders of Emperor Zul. I have to fight. I have to find out what happened to Marg. I have to talk to him. I can't trust my only brother in the. If I can't trust my only brother in this universe. Yeah, beautiful boy. But he's got to talk to his brother, so he will talk to his brother. You have to remember, Mug, we're twin brothers and we swore to fight together for a universal peace. You can't fool me, I don't have a brother. Ugh. And then I'll contact his mind directly with telepathy. Yeah. He's... Mug's mind has been altered by Emperor Zul. Mars, how dare you invade my brain. Please stop, Marg. Yeah, my dad. You've uh, been mind controlled. Silence. You are my enemy. I must destroy you. It's not working. If you want to get to Marg, I have to sink that vessel. We did it. Yeah, okay, let's put. Wait. Uh, Water can't reach him, but Water has shit to say to him. I mean, he tells him he sucks. Damn, if you level up, what's supposed to they just learn? Yell, uh, oh, okay, they'll learn yell. Yeah, do it talk and blow it up anyway. So who's Darth Vader? He's basically Darth Vader, but uh, ruder. You know, he was really honestly happy when he met his brother. He's one and only blood relative in this whole universe. And I know you felt the same way. Nonsense. He's my enemy, nothing more. Brother fighting brother. That's not right at all. You and me, buddy. You're not touching Takaru. <laughs> oh, okay. Kamina talks to him, but not Simon. Uh, Kamina is like, Oi, 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 sit down and listen up. You guys are brothers. You and Takaru are bound by the blood flowing in you. I have no brother. You forgot about your own brother? How about I smack your head back in work in order, huh? This is to help you remember what's important. Take it like a man. 
Uh, Akagi holds back and they're like, you can't hold back, you'll die. He's like, coward facing in battle will be gone from my sight. He's like, come on, think about your brother, dude. Uh, Water's like, cut it out! Taku said he doesn't want to fight, but I want to fight him! It's the will of Zul! It's like, but he's your brother, you gotta look out for your little brother! Ah, oh, now I'm mad! If Taku won't beat you up, I will! Uh, Koji's like, what's wrong with you? You're his brother, I'm gonna beat you up! And that's pretty much it. He's just gonna attack Mars anyway. And we'll finally god Mars this fucker. And then... How dare you spy into my mind, Marg! You'll pay for all you've done! The only way to stop Marg now is to sink his ship. I'm sorry, Marg. Brace yourself. It'll be quick! Yes, Captain Marg. Why won't you listen, brother? Brother? Does she give him the G? M sword? And then you save the frames. Taku's just speedrunning every attack. It's animation cancelling. It's incredible. Perfect, because I wanted to cast, cast Bless anyway. Not Bless, the other one, but, you know, like, look. Oh, well, I fucking can't. So, never mind. Let's fucking murder him. Yeah, let's, oh, let's do it with the, the Mars. Go ahead and blow him up. Got a Psycho Reactor, which I think is plus 10 starting. Will? And the thrust module, which is good in space. Marg! He's like, Mars, I'll get you next time! Blah. And then leaves. Yeah, we did it. Well, we saved the Gishin hostage and uh, we beat back Dr. Hell, but Taku's gotta maybe murder his brother, so that sucks. So, God Sigma and Bullios have been hanging out with Tanaka at the Dragon's Hive uh, for a while. And uh, they're like, damn, that weasel real good at keeping secrets. But it did come in handy, right? They were being held uh, as an ace in the uh, hole for just a time like this when they could swoop in and get Zexus out of trouble. Uh, Zeus didn't have a little chat. Um yeah, okay, so Zeus talked though, uh, his cafe. At the end of uh, Z1, Marin left Oliver and Ryder to go back to his home planet, along with uh, the crew of God Sigma. And, uh, yeah, Marin's story continues from there. He and God Sigma travelled the galaxy with uh, Aphrodia's uh, fleet and found a new planet that could support the Eswanians. And, uh, they did it. In the original uh, story, they actually, like, completely just, like, make the Earth uninhabitable. But, uh,. They're on their way back uh, to Earth when a dimensional quake hit, and, well, here they are. Uh, Ryter and Oliver were taken by their own quake, as they saw Marin and Toshia vanish on their screen. Um, yeah, so far, all of our Zeus members have popped up uh, in the Earth sphere, or, like, 
in orbit at most, but Reiter and Oliver found themselves far outside the solar system, right where Marion and Tashia were, where they were getting attacked by the Kishin. And uh, they managed to escape and found their way to Earth, and it seems like quite a coincidence. There's Roger. Um, Roger again supposes that it's too much to be a coincidence. Uh, singularities attract each other, and Oliver and Reiter share a powerful bond with Marion after they were really racist and rude to him for no reason. But uh, another bit to the story when they got to Earth, a robot was there to take them to Dragon's Hive, and its name was Dan Kuga, they think. Uh, and it's like, wait, when was final Dan Kuga hanging out with Tanaka? What the? And Kura, being the big investigator she is, has some digging to do. But Baldios and God Sigma are joining Zexus for real, and they've been filled in on the Imperium and the state of uh, Gaia and all that jazz. And uh, we could probably use the firepower. And uh, Takaru is uh, crying on his mother, because he's got to kill his brother. Uh, he wishes that she was his real mother, so he wouldn't have to fight his brother. But there you go. And then Sebastian comes over and tells him to shut up and quit whining. And she yells him and chews him out. And uh, it's like, what happened for fighting uh, for peace? You're going to give up just because you lost your brother? You've got a lot of lives and a lot of hope pinned on you, buddy. And he doesn't have the luxury of being a sad little mama's boy. Uh, Koji is like, oh, okay, now listen, landlady, hold up. And then Shizuko is Takaru's mother's like, no, Koji, she's right. The landlady is right. And she tells Takaru to think about it as long as he needs to settle his own doubts. And when he has, remember that he fights to protect the Earth. He's like, are you telling me to fight Marg? And that's up to you, but whatever you decide, you'll always be my son. And Takaru's, uh, Takaru's got a long road ahead of him. And so does Koji. He's been, uh, he was watching everything along with Tsubasa and the Kuragane crew, and he promises he'll keep up his training with Roma, and he'll surprise her when he comes back. So, they're gonna head back to. Yeah, Shiro's waiting! Tsubasa is super hardcore. And, uh, they go back to Zexus, and, uh, uh, Shizuko says, uh, I must seem like a terrible mother. I just told my boy to go to war. And then Suez says, don't worry, there are much worse mothers in the world. And Zul, like Marg, has figured out the reason uh, they lost Mars when they trapped him is because Rose kidnapped his mother. If he hadn't done that, he wouldn't have been able to go, I gotta save her and get all powered up. So, ridiculous. Uh, he cannot brook this failure, so he's uh, calling Rose de Gishin for execution. Mark then steps in and says that he needs Rose. And uh, if he has her, he thinks he has a chance of taking over the world. So, uh, Zul agrees, but demands that the next mission be a success. And then, uh, Mark can't explain why he defended Rose. Um, but there's something about Mars. He says that he's his brother, and he does have the same face. Uh, all Rosé knows is that Zul says the Earth is a danger to the galaxy, and the Gishin have to take control of it or die. So uh, why does Mars f defend them then? He's branded a traitor, and that's enough for Rosé. But Marg still wonders, what's up with that Mars boy? Fundamentally good boys. Right, so let's upgrade God Sigma and Baldios. And then 